our STLP group for this year. That means Student Technology Leadership Program. And so they have participated in two events so far. One was in December, and that was here in Bowling Green. And then we had another event last week that they participated in, and that was a district event. And so all teams did really well. And we have one team that's going to go to state after spring break. And they're going to tell you a little bit about their project. So our project, it was our a teacher came out to us and asked us if we could help record our voices and read books. That way she could work with other students and help them read more. We, and she gave us this website called vocary.com, which she gave us a book to read and we recorded our voices and then we made QR code, and we haven't taken those to her yet, I don't think, but we're still working on it. Right, so this is a project that's still in the works. So they, they've done several books, so that when, and it's for K and 1. So if you're in kindergarten or first grade, this is something that you may get to use at some point. So what they've done is they've read the books and then all you have to do is take the iPad, scan the QR code, and then you can listen to them read the story to you. Does that sound awesome or what? Yeah. Well, you know what? These boys and girls have put in lots of hard work and time and they had to problem solve and they had to build their knowledge on all kinds of different technology like Google Drive and how to share things with each other and the program that they used to record their voices, all of that was new for them. So they had to learn new things before they could present it and be judged on it. So I think these boys and girls deserve a great big Husky cheer. What do you think? Here we go. Ready? Go. Go Husky! All right. Thank you all so much for your participation in STLP. Good job. Now we're ready for banners. Okay, boys and girls, I am so very excited um, to talk about my banner class of the week, boys and girls. This class was so proactive, and we started working on our next and our last um, PTO program for the year, and that's going to be for second and third graders. And so this class actually has second graders and third graders in it. And this class was so proactive. They were really beginning with the end in mind, and and they were so excited to learn the music that we were going to learn. And they were just really great listeners and they were super engaged. So I want to give this banner this week to Miss Bettinger's second and third grade class. Let's give them a husky cheer. And before I go, um, next week, I wanted to talk to you guys for just a second. Next week, we are going to be celebrating... Um, music in our schools month okay and so the entire month of March is national music in our schools month and so um, that is a really special thing that we get to have music at our school and not every kid in in our country or even our state gets to have music class every week like we do here at Country Heights and so that's a really really great thing thank you that's a really great thing that we get to celebrate music, we get to listen to music and have music class and all those kind of things. And so next week, we're going to celebrate it with some music genre days. Now, I know some of our older students are talking about literary genre. What's a genre? What's a genre, Severo? Different types of stories in books, right? So in music, we have different kinds of genres, right? So on Monday of next week, we're going to be celebrating the genre of rock and roll. We're going to do rock and roll crazy hair day on Monday. On Tuesday, we're going to be celebrating the genre of blues music. So we're all going to wear blue. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to be celebrating the genre of country music. So you can wear your cowboy hats and boots. On Thursday, we're going to be celebrating the genre of opera. So I want you to dress up in your finest opera clothes. It can just be dressing them nicely. And then on Friday, we're going to be celebrating classical music because classical music is all around us. So we're just going to wear a classic white t-shirt. So we'll be celebrating next week and talking about how excited we are that we get to have music and celebrate that. So 
your teachers should be getting a um, note to send home to parents about that um, and make sure that you participate in all address updates. Ms. Morton. All right, I want to celebrate my PE leaders. I have two from the last two days, and we went outside to enjoy the beautiful spring weather, and it was so nice to get some fresh air, to get our legs moving, running on the track, and these two people stuck out to me in their work and their efforts to becoming more fit. So I want to give a big husky cheer to Carter Murphy. And a big husky cheer to Jackson Mills. And I want to celebrate my PE class of the week. We've worked really hard on some hockey and our running, and I want to give this. For their leadership and their efforts, Miss Muffet's class, give them a big husky cheer.